Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be solving a problem based on single linkage clustering, which is a type of hierarchical clustering in uh, data mining. So these are techniques used for uh, kind of clustering, like from k-means and all this has the root. So like uh, single linkage, you have the average linkage, complete linkage and all. So uh, in this particular video, we'll be solving a problem based on single linkage clustering. And so it's uh, nothing but uh, the normal k-means how you solve like by using the Euclidean distance. You calculate the distance matrix and all. So it's in the same way. So it's very easy. So let's get started. So first of all, we have been given the following table of fats and protein content of items and you have to apply single linkage clustering and you have to construct one dendrogram. So dendrogram is one kind of particular chart or it's a graph kind of thing. So like it shows the hierarchy of different items or different in this case, it's food items. So it's like uh, shows the uh, linkage of different food items. Uh, that will uh, see how like in solve the problem. So it's very easy. So this part uh, we'll be uh, keeping it for dendrogram. So like after every uh, each table or each every calculation is done, we'll be constructing the dendrogram. Else at the end, it would be a very hectic task to construct the dendrogram. And so we just uh, give out the space for dendrogram construction. And so it's very easy. And so uh, first of all, in this, what you have to do is you have to calculate the distance matrix and distance matrix will calculate by using the Euclidean distance. So that's very easy. So uh, we start with uh, the distance matrix. So we have that very first that is uh, items and just you will put these values here. So uh, you have a uh, seven number of different entries here that is food items. So it will be like you have one, two, three, then four, then five, then six, and then you have the seventh one. And so uh, this completes uh, one column that is seven column and then you have uh, rows here so that also it's in this way that is one two three then four then you have five then you have six and just a little down and then you have seven so uh, this is your distance matrix how it will look and so uh, one particular kind of peculiarity is uh, the distance from each node to each node within itself is zero so distance between node 1 to node 1 or item 1 to item 1 is 0. Likewise, 2 to 2 is 0, 3 to 3 is 0, 4 to 4 is 0, 5 to 5 is 0, 6 to 6 is 0 and 7 to 7 is 0. And so you can see a diagonal fashion of uh, zeros just going in this way. And so what you have to do, you can see one upper triangle and lower triangle. So whatever value you write in the lower triangle that is reflected in the upper triangle. And so we'll be considering only the lower triangle to fill those values. And so it's very easy. So you have to calculate the distance between one two. So distance between one two is uh, you have to see these two rows like uh, it's under root of 1.1 minus 8.2 the whole square plus uh, you have 60 minus 20 the whole square. And so that value comes out to be 40.62. So I already have this value. So I will just put these values here. So you have uh, here 25.19. Uh, you have this that is 39, you have 45.46, then you have 5.08, then you have 21.18, then you have here 15.52, then you have 6.77, then you have 5.03, then you have 35. Point, uh, you have 54, then you have 19.48. Then likewise you have 14.25, then you have 20.28, then you have 20.12, then you have 4.01, then you have 8.55, then you have 34, then you have 18.15, and then you have 40.39, and 24.28, and then you have 16.11. So uh, now what you have to do, you have to see the minimum value from this. So the minimum distance or the minimum value from all this is you can see as 4.01. So this is the minimum value from this distance. And so it uh, uh, it's like it's matching to third column and seventh row. And so what will we do? We just merge these two columns and we'll write and just we remove one column and one row. So what we'll write minimum value is 4.01 
एंड सो वी मर्च दैट इज वी हैव आर पॉइंट और आइटम दैट इज थ्री सेवन सो वॉट विल डू इन द नेक्स्ट इटरेशन वील जस्ट मूव दिस सो वी स्टार्ट कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द डेंडोग्राम so uh, at the end it will be very difficult for you to construct so the very first value that you have is 4.01 so that i'll write here and so it is comprised of 3 and 7 so what i will do i will just plot these two lines and i will put as 3 and 7 and i will make one kind of uh, bar like this so that it represents 4.01 likewise uh, successive merging will be uh, drawn in this kind of dendrogram and so what will we do we just i just remove this i will not reconstruct this again so it will be in this way so 3 7 and so what you have is basically one uh, row and one column gets removed so it will be in this way rest all values remain the same as it is and so uh, you will be removing this values so uh, what we have to do you just have to Uh, fill the table and you have to check whether uh, that value is same or not and so it's 40.62 and then it is now you have to consider 1 and 3 7 so uh, now you have to compute the distance of 1 3 and 1 7 so you need not compute again and again what you have to do you have to compare the distance between 1 and 3 and 1 and 7 and which one is minimum that value you have to update here so that value comes out to be so this value is 21.18 so you can check in the previous step the rest all remains uh, the same and 15.22 and this value 5.03 and 14.25 20.28 and this value this is also a merging step so this changes to 16.11 and this remains the same and this also same so it's like uh, again uh, in this we have to do that thing so the minimum value from this is 5.08 and so what we merge we merge that is 1 and 6 uh no sorry uh not 5.08 you have 5.03 in this so what we merge uh this value that is 5.03 and so uh, it merges with 2 and 5 and so you have minimum value is 5.03 and we merge that is uh, we have 2 and 5 and so our data table will be 2.5 and here also it will be 2 comma 5 and just we uh, discard that value and before that we have to plot here that is we have 2 5 and it corresponds to value 5.03 so it will be 5.03 here and just above this you have to draw one kind of uh, this graph here and just now we uh, remove this so our uh, second merging is also done so it's like uh, you have uh, this thing you have 5 removed and so uh, you have to remove this value so i'll just remove this thing off and this part so our uh, new table will be uh, you have 1 2 5 3 7 4 and this will be 6 and likewise this also will be 6 and so you will have the value 40.62 21.18 39 uh, and this value uh, you have as 5.08 so this value is 5.08 and then you have uh, as 14.37 so for uh, you have 5.08 and then you have 15.5 to 6.77 and this value comes out to be so this is the old value so the new value that you compare like you have to cal calculate the distance between 26 and 56 and whichever is minimum value that you have to write so that comes out to be 35.54 and then you go here Uh, this value just changes to 16.11 and this changes to 34 so uh, now what you have to do you have to do the comparison again so whichever is the minimum value that you have to see in this so the minimum value from this is 5.08 so that comes in 1 and 6 and so we merge that is minimum value uh, is 5.08 and we merge that is 1 and 6 so uh, what we have we just uh, removed some columns one column and one row will remove before that we have this value that is we have 5.08 and so we'll just plot it here that is we have 1 and 6 here and so it corresponds to this portion and so we'll draw one kind of block here and here and so you see one value missing so that comes somewhere here so between 2 and here so we will plot four so it's like 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 
yeah so seven values have been done so we have to merge it again so we have to merge one six so what we'll do we just write one six here and we'll just drop these two columns and this rows off so uh, this is very easy so this table you have to draw every time again and again it's not uh, because I have the space constraint here that's why I'm uh, changing it and so you have one six uh, here also you have one six now you are left with only these many that is four rows and four columns you have so you have to uh, again calculate the uh, distance matrix and find the minimum value from this so you have all these values and you just have to change this value that is 35.54 and then you have 16.11 here and then you have 34 here and then 15.5 6.77 and this is, remains same that is 14.25 and so the minimum value from this is 6.77 that we get and so what we do uh, we just compare that is which column and which uh, row and so uh, the column is 2 5 and 4 so what we do we uh, the minimum value is 6.77 and we merge that is 2 5 and 4 or 2 5 4 so what we have to do we just have to merge this to an upper level so it becomes 6.77 and what we do we just uh, draw one kind of uh, this thing and we do in this way that is we have this from going to 4 so this will be the representation for this and so we'll again merge it so uh, now it will be 2 4 5 that we'll have that is this will be 2 4 and 5 and similarly you have 2 4 and 5 so we have a reduced number of uh, rows and columns in this so we'll be left with uh, only 3 rows and 3 columns so it's very easy so again you have to merge on this technique so we have 1 6 2 4 5 3 7 and 1 6 2 4 5 and 3 7 and so we have to calculate this again that is this distance is 35.1 and this is same and this comes out to be now this value remains 14.25 uh, so this just changes and so the minimum value is again 14.25 so we write minimum value is 14.25 uh, and we merge that is we have to merge 2 4 5 and 3 7 so we merge 2 3 4 5 and 7 and so it will be like alone you have 1 6 and 2 4 5 and 7 and so what we'll do we just construct it so uh, we have this items here so it will be a big mess if i do it again here so it will be uh, like i have 1 6 and then i have 2 3 4 5 and 7 here and similarly i have 1 6 here then 2 3 4 5 and 7 and so i have this matrix now so in this i will be calculating this distance that is 0 0 and this value comes out to be 16.11 so this is our final value so before that we have to merge this kind of uh, value so it's 14.25 here and so you have to merge 2 3 4 5 and 7 so 2 4 5 this cluster is here and then 3 7 only we have to merge so that comes here so you have to draw one kind of dendrogram that is extending from here till you have to uh, this place so you have to merge till here so this represents 2 4 5 and this is 3 7 and so if you merge this it becomes 2 4 2 3 4 5 and 7 and next we have to uh, plot this value that is again the minimum value is 16.11 and so we merge that is uh, we merge all these values that is uh, we have 1 2 7 and so the final merging in this way so it is like you plot 16.11 here and so we have this final value and then this one entire thing so I will just rub it off so it will be 16.11 in this way and so our dendrogram looks in this way so this is our uh, final dendrogram that we have and so what values we have taken here so these are the items or the food items we have here and these are the minimum values so these are the values which are minimum and so we have plotted our dendrogram for this kind of problem so that is single linkage clustering in data mining so hope you guys enjoyed this video found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video